AMB TV하고 단어 퀴즈 한번 해보겠습니다. 자, 서기관. 공무원 서기관이 아니고 옛날에 그 성경에 나오는 서기관인데, Secretary. Secretary. 좀 어렵다, 그지? 동교, 그 특히 크리스찬에서 얘기하는 제사장. Priest. Priest. Job. King Solomon ruled over the o And this who is the chief official, Darius, son of his father, the priest Aliurab, and uh, Isaac, son of his uh, side, the secretary, the father of uh, son of uh, Aliu, Aliurab, and Benayal, son of his uh, Jeruiadol, commander in chief, Sadak, and uh, Abiadol, the priest. Ajaria son of Ignatan, in a charge of the priest of Abishu. Sadak, son of Ignatan, a priest and a High officials, priest, secretaries, recorder, command of the army, charge of the palace, charge of the forced labor, provided food, household, make provision, belonged, beside, below, as far as, the other side, villages, region, with walls and bronze bars, governor, drank, ruled over, kingdoms, border, brought tribute, cores of meal, meal pasture fed cattle, Besides deer, gazelles, roebucks, fat and fowl, had dominion over all the region, had peace, lived in safety, vine, fig tree, stalls of horses, chariots and horsemen, supplied provisions, let nothing be lacking, barley also and straw, horses and swift steeds, steeds, was required, each according to his duty, wisdom and understanding beyond measure, breadth of mind, sand on the seashore. Wisdom surpassed, was wiser, surrounding nations, proverbs, cedar, hyssop, reptiles, had heard of his wisdom. High officials, priest, secretaries, recorder, command of the army, charge of the palace, charge of the forced labor, provided food, household, make provision, belonged, beside, below, as far as, the other side, villages, Region, with walls and bronze bars, governor, drank, ruled over, kingdoms, border, brought tribute, cores of meal, meal pasture fed cattle. Besides deer, gazelles, roebucks, fat and fowl, had dominion, over all the region, had peace, lived in safety, vine, fig tree, stalls of horses, chariots and horsemen, supplied provisions, let nothing be lacking, barley also and straw, horses and swift steeds, steeds, was required, each according to his duty, wisdom and understanding beyond measure, breadth of mind, sand on the seashore, wisdom surpassed, was wiser, surrounding nations, proverbs, cedar, hyssop, reptiles, had heard of his wisdom. 1 Kings 4 King Solomon was king over all Israel, and these were his high officials. Azariah the son of Zadok was the priest, Elihoreph and Ahijah the sons of Shisha were secretaries, Jehoshaphat the son of Ahalud was recorder. 1 Kings 4 King Solomon was king over all Israel, and these were his high officials. Azariah the son of Zadok was the priest, Elihoreph and Ahijah the sons of Shisha were secretaries, Jehoshaphat the son of Ahalud was recorder, Benaiah the son of Jehoiada was in command of the army, Zadok and Abiathar were priests, Azariah the son of Nathan was over the officers, Zabud the son of Nathan was priest and king's friend, Ahishar was in charge of the palace, and Adoniram the son of Abda was in charge of the forced labor. Benaiah the son of Jehoiada was in command of the army. Zadok and Abiathar were priests. Azariah the son of Nathan was over the officers. Zabud the son of Nathan was priest and king's friend. Ahishar was in charge of the palace. And Adoniram the son of Abda was in charge of the forced labor. Solomon had twelve officers over all Israel who provided food for the king and his household. Each man had to make provision for one month in the year. These were their names.
Ben-Hur in the hill country of Ephraim, ben Decair in Makaz, Sha'albim, Beth Shemesh, Elon Beth Hanan, Ben Hesed in Arabath, to him belonged Soko, and all the land of Hefer. Solomon had twelve officers over all Israel, who provided food for the king and his household. Each man had to make provision for one month in the year. These were their names Ben Hur in the hill country of Ephraim, Ben Decair in Makaz, Sha'albim, Beth Shemesh, Elon Beth Hanan, Ben Hesed in Arabath, to him belonged Soko, and all the land of Hefer. Ben Abinadab, in all Nafath Dor, he had Tephath, the daughter of Solomon as his wife, Bana the son of Ahilad, in Tanakh, Megiddo, and all Beth Shion, that is beside Zarathon, below Jezreel, and from Beth Shion to Abel Mehala, as far as the other side of Jokmiam. Ben Abinadab, in all Nafath Dor, he had Tephath, the daughter of Solomon is his wife, Bana the son of Ahilad in Tanakh, Megiddo, and all Beth Shion that is beside Zarathon below Jezreel, and from Beth Shion to Abel Mehala as far as the other side of Jokmiam. Ben Geber in Ramath Gilead, he had the villages of Jair the son of Manasseh, which are in Gilead. And he had the region of Agab, which is in Bashan, sixty great cities with walls and bronze bars. Ahinadab, the son of Ido, in Mahanaim, Ahimaz, in Naphtali. He had taken Basemath, the daughter of Solomon, as his wife. Ben Geber, in Ramoth Gilead, he had the villages of Jair, the son of Manasseh, which are in Gilead. And he had the region of Agab, which is in Bashan, sixty great cities with walls and bronze bars. Ahinadab, the son of Ido, in Mahanaim, Ahimaz, in Naphtali, he had taken Basemath, the daughter of Solomon, as his wife. Bana, the son of Hushai, in Asher, and Bealoth, Jehoshaphat, the son of Padua, in Issachar, Shimei, the son of Ella, in Benjamin, Geber, the son of Uri, in the land of Gilead, the country of Sion, king of the Amorites, and of Og, king of Bashan. And there was one governor, who was over the land. Judah in Israel, Bana the son of Hushai, in Asher, and Bealoth, Jehoshaphat the son of Padua, in Issachar, Shimei the son of Ella, in Benjamin, Geber the son of Uri, in the land of Gilead, the country of Sion, king of the Amorites, and of Og, king of Bashan. And there was one governor who was over the land. Judah in Israel, Judah and Israel were as many as the sand by the sea. They ate and drank and were happy. Judah and Israel were as many as the sand by the sea. They ate and drank and were happy. Sent, heard, anointed, always, warfare with, enemies, surrounded, until, soles of his feet, rest, every side, neither adversary nor misfortune, intend to build, will set, throne, command, servants, join, will pay, such wages, no one among, cut timber, as soon as, rejoiced greatly, blessed be, has given, message, am ready, desire matter of cedar, cypress timber, bring it down, make it into rafts, broken up, shall receive, wishes by providing, Household, supplied, wheat, beaten, year by year, promised, made a treaty, drafted forced labor, shifts, burden bearers, stone cutters, carried on, quarried out great, dressed stones prepared. Sent, heard, anointed, always, warfare with, enemies, surrounded, until, soles of his feet, rest, every side, neither adversary nor misfortune, intend to build, will set, throne, command, servants, join, will pay, such wages, no one among, cut timber, as soon as, rejoiced greatly, blessed be, has given, message, am ready, desire matter of cedar, cypress timber, bring it down, make it into rafts, broken up, shall receive, wishes by providing, Household, 
supplied, wheat, beaten, year by year, promised, made a treaty, drafted forced labor, shifts, burden bearers, stone cutters, carried on, quarried out great, dressed stones prepared. NB2B 선생님하고 오늘 단어 퀴즈 한번 해보겠습니다. 재단이 있는 곳 지성소라고도 하고 Sanctuary Sanctuary 이게 건축을 할때 받쳐주는 것들이 있어 그런 거를 뭐라 그래? 지지대 영어로 영어로 Supporting Supporting 먹을 것좀 줘야 되겠네 Good job! When the hero king of Tyrone Heard that the Solomon had been the anointed king to succeed his father David, he sent his envoys to Solomon because he had always been unfriendly to terms with David. Solomon sent back his message to Hiram. You know that because of the war wage against my father David from all sides. He could not reveal the temple for the name of the Lord it is God until the Lord put his enemies under his feet. Solomon ruled over all the kingdoms from the Euphrates to the land of the Philistines and to the border of Egypt. They brought tribute and served Solomon all the days of his life. Solomon ruled over all the kingdoms from the Euphrates to the land of the Philistines and to the border of Egypt. They brought tribute and served Solomon all the days of his life. Solomon's provision for one day was thirty cores of fine flour and sixty cores of meal, ten fat oxen and twenty pasture-fed cattle, a hundred sheep, besides deer, gazelles, roebucks, and fattened fowl. Solomon's provision for one day was thirty cores of fine flour and sixty cores of meal, ten fat oxen, and twenty pasture-fed cattle, a hundred sheep, besides deer, gazelles, roebucks, and fattened fowl. For he had dominion over all the region west of the Euphrates, from Tifsa to Gaza, over all the kings west of the Euphrates, and he had peace on all sides around him. And Judah and Israel lived in safety, from Dan even to Beersheba, every man under his vine and under his fig tree all the days of Solomon. For he had dominion over all the region west of the Euphrates, from Tifsa to Gaza, over all the kings west of the Euphrates, and he had peace on all sides around him. And Judah and Israel lived in safety, from Dan even to Beersheba, every man under his vine and under his fig tree all the days of Solomon. Solomon also had 40,000 stalls of horses for his chariots and 12,000 horsemen. And those officers supplied provisions for King Solomon and for all who came to King Solomon's table, each one in his month. They let nothing be lacking. Solomon also had 40,000 stalls of horses for his chariots and 12,000 horsemen. And those officers supplied provisions for King Solomon and for all who came to King Solomon's table, each one in his month, they let nothing be lacking. Barley also and straw for the horses and swift steeds they brought to the place where it was required, each according to his duty. And God gave Solomon wisdom and understanding beyond measure and breadth of mind like sand of the seashore. So Barley also and straw for the horses and swift steeds they brought to the place where it was required, each according to his duty. And God gave Solomon wisdom and understanding beyond measure and breadth of mind like sand of the seashore. So that Solomon's wisdom surpassed the wisdom of all the people of the east and all the wisdom of Egypt. For he was wiser than all other men, wiser than Ethan the Ezraite and Heman, Chalcol and Darda, sons of Mahal, and his fame was in all the surrounding nations. That Solomon's wisdom surpassed the wisdom of all the people of the East, and all the wisdom of Egypt. For he was wiser than all other men, wiser than Ethan the Ezraite, and Heman, 
Galcol and Darda, sons of Mahal, and his fame was in all the surrounding nations. He also spoke 3,000 proverbs, and his songs were 1,005. He spoke of trees, from the cedar that is in Lebanon to the hyssop that grows out of the wall. He spoke also of beasts, and of birds, and of reptiles, and of fish. He also spoke 3,000 proverbs, and his songs were 1,005. He spoke of trees, from the cedar that is in Lebanon to the hyssop that grows out of the wall. He spoke also of beasts, and of birds, and of reptiles, and of fish. And people of all nations came to hear the wisdom of Solomon, and from all the kings of the earth, who had heard of his wisdom. 1 Kings 5 Now Hiram, king of Tyre, sent his servants to Solomon when he heard that they had anointed him king in place of his father. For Hiram always loved David, and Solomon and people of all nations came to hear the wisdom of Solomon, and from all the kings of the earth, who had heard of his wisdom. 1 Kings 5 Now Hiram, king of Tyre, sent his servants to Solomon when he heard that they had anointed him king in place of his father. For Hiram always loved David, and, Sol and Solomon sent word to Hiram, You know that David my father could not build a house for the name of the Lord his God because of the warfare with which his enemies surrounded him, until the Lord put them under the soles of his feet. And Solomon sent word to Hiram, You know that David my father could not build a house for the name of the Lord his God because of the warfare with which his enemies surrounded him, until the Lord put them under the soles of his feet. But now the Lord my God has given me rest on every side. There is neither adversary nor misfortune. And so I intend to build a house for the name of the Lord my God, as the Lord said to David my father, Your son, whom I will set on your throne in your place, shall build the house for my name. But now the Lord my God has given me rest on every side. There is neither adversary nor misfortune. And so I intend to build a house for the name of the Lord my God, as the Lord said to David my father, Your son, whom I will set on your throne in your place, shall build the house for my name. Now therefore, command the cedars of Lebanon to be cut for me, and my servants will join your servants, and I will pay you for your servants such wages as you set. For you know that there is no one among us who knows how to cut timber like the Sidonians. As soon now therefore, command the cedars of Lebanon to be cut for me, and my servants will join your servants, and I will pay you for your servants such wages as you set. For you know that there is no one among us who knows how to cut timber like the Sidonians. As soon as, as, soon as Hiram heard the words of Solomon, he rejoiced greatly and said, Blessed be the Lord this day, who has given to David a wise son to be over this great people. As soon as Hiram heard the words of Solomon, he rejoiced greatly and said, Blessed be the Lord this day, who has given to David a wise son to be over this great people. And Hiram sent to Solomon, saying, I have heard the message that you have sent to me. I am ready to do all you desire in the matter of cedar and cypress timber. And Hiram sent to Solomon, saying, I have heard the message that you have sent to me. I am ready to do all you desire in the matter of cedar and cypress timber. My servants shall bring it down to the sea from Lebanon, and I will make it into rafts to go by sea to the place you direct. And I will have them broken up there, and you shall receive it. And you shall meet my wishes by providing food for my household. My servants shall bring it down to the sea from Lebanon, and I will make it into rafts to go by sea to the place you direct. And I will have them broken up there, and you shall receive it. And you shall meet my wishes by providing food for my household. So Hiram supplied Solomon with all the timber of cedar and cypress that he desired, while Solomon gave Hiram 20,000 cores of wheat as food for his household and 20,000 cores of beaten oil. Solomon gave this to Hiram year by year. So Hiram supplied Solomon with all the timber of cedar and cypress that he desired, 
while Solomon gave Hiram 20,000 cores of wheat as food for his household and 20,000 cores of beaten oil. Solomon gave this to Hiram year by year. And the Lord gave Solomon wisdom as he promised him. And there was peace between Hiram and Solomon, and the two of them made a treaty. King Solomon drafted forced labor out of all Israel, and the draft numbered 30,000 men. And the Lord gave Solomon wisdom as he promised him. And there was peace between Hiram and Solomon, and the two of them made a treaty. King Solomon drafted forced labor out of all Israel, and the draft numbered 30,000 men. And he sent them to Lebanon, 10,000 a month, in shifts. They would be a month in Lebanon and two months at home. Adoniram was in charge of the draft. And he sent them to Lebanon, 10,000 a month, in shifts. They would be a month in Lebanon and two months at home. Adoniram was in charge of the draft. Solomon also had 70,000 burden bearers and 80,000 stone cutters in the hill country, besides Solomon's 3,300 chief officers who were over the work, who had charged. Solomon also had 70,000 burden bearers and 80,000 stone cutters in the hill country, besides Solomon's 3,300 chief officers who were over the work, who had charged. who had charge of the people who carried on the work. At the king's command, they quarried out great costly stones in order to lay the foundation of the house with dressed stones. So Solomon's builders and Hiram's builders and the men of Gibal did the cutting and prepared the timber and the stone to build the house. Who had charge of the people who carried on the work. At the king's command, they quarried out great costly stones in order to lay the foundation of the house with dressed stones. So Solomon's builders and Hiram's builders and the men of Gibal did the cutting and prepared the timber and the stone to build the house. Word study, 80th year, reign over, 20 cubits wide, vestibule, equal to the width, 10 cubits deep. Recessed frames, built a structure, running around, inner sanctuary, made side chambers, five cubits broad, made offsets, supporting beams, inserted into the walls, at the quarry, hammer nor axe nor any tool of iron, entrance, middle story, planks of cedar, built the structure, concerning, ceiling, inside with wood, rear, nave, carved, form of gourds, innermost, Ark of the Covenant, overlaid, pure gold, altar of cedar, drew chains, was finished, belonged to, cherubim, cherub, carved engraved figures, lintel, doorposts, palm trees, spread gold, square, were folding, evenly applied, specifications according to, word study, 80th year, reign over, 20 cubits wide, vestibule, equal to the width, 10 cubits deep, recessed frames, built a structure, running around, inner sanctuary, made side chambers, 5 cubits broad, made offsets, supporting beams, inserted into the walls, at the quarry, hammer nor axe nor any tool of iron, entrance, middle story, planks of cedar, built a structure, concerning, ceiling, inside with wood, rear, nave, carved, form of gourds, innermost, Ark of the Covenant, overlaid, pure gold, altar of cedar, drew chains, was finished, belonged to, cherubim, cherub, carved engraved figures, lintel, doorposts, palm trees, spread gold, square, were folding, evenly applied, specifications according to, 자, 이것도 오늘 또 약간 그렇게 쉽지는 않아. 자, 건축에 큰뭐 이런 그 성전이나 이런 데 보면은 엄청난 큰거 이렇게 받쳐주는 거 있어. 이걸 뭐라 그래? 힐라. 힐라. 그리고 이건 좀더 어려울 것 같다. 이렇게 항공기 조종사들이 탈때 이렇게 덮어주는 거 있어. 이렇게 쭉 이렇게 사원형으로 덮어주는 거. 이걸 뭐라 그래? 테너피. 테너피. 
In the fourth year of his Solomon in the reign of Idril, in the month of the Chi, the second month he began to build the temple of the Lord, the temple that King Solomon built for the Lord was 60 cubits long, then he widened it so high. The portico at the founder of the main hall of the temple extended the widest of the temple. 1 Kings 6. In the 480th year, after the people of Israel came out of the land of Egypt, in the fourth year of Solomon's reign over Israel, in the month of Ziv, which is the second month, he began to build the house of the Lord. First Kings 6. In the 480th year, after the people of Israel came out of the land of Egypt, in the fourth year of Solomon's reign over Israel, in the month of Ziv, which is the second month, he began to build the house of the Lord. The house that King Solomon built for the Lord was 60 cubits long, 20 cubits wide, and 30 cubits high. The vestibule in front of the nave of the house was 20 cubits long, equal to the width of the house, and 10 cubits deep in front of the house. And the house that King Solomon built for the Lord was 60 cubits long, 20 cubits wide, and 30 cubits high. The vestibule in front of the nave of the house was 20 cubits long, equal to the width of the house, and 10 cubits deep in front of the house. And, and he made for the house windows with recessed frames. He also built a structure against the wall of the house, running around the walls of the house, both the nave and the inner sanctuary. And he made side chambers all around. And he made for the house windows with recessed frames. He also built a structure against the wall of the house, running around the walls of the house, both the nave and the inner sanctuary. And he made side chambers all around. The lowest story was five cubits broad. The middle one was six cubits broad. And the third was seven cubits broad. For around the outside of the house, he made offsets on the wall in order that the supporting beams should not be inserted into the walls of the house. When the house was the lowest story was five cubits broad, the middle one was six cubits broad, and the third was seven cubits broad. For around the outside of the house he made offsets on the wall in order that the supporting beams should not be inserted into the walls of the house. When the house was, when the house was built, it was with stone prepared at the quarry, so that neither hammer nor axe nor any tool of iron was heard in the house while it was being built. When the house was built, it was with stone prepared at the quarry, so that neither hammer nor axe nor any tool of iron was heard in the house while it was being built. The entrance for the lowest story was on the south side of the house, and one went up by stairs to the middle story, and from the middle story to the third. The entrance for the lowest story was on the south side of the house, and one went up by stairs to the middle story, and from the middle story to the third. So he built the house and finished it, and he made the ceiling of the house of beams and planks of cedar. He built the structure against the whole house, five cubits high, and it was joined to the house with timbers of cedar. So he built the house and finished it, and he made the ceiling of the house of beams and planks of cedar. He built the structure against the whole house, five cubits high, and it was joined to the house with timbers of cedar. Now the word of the Lord came to Solomon. Concerning this house that you are building, if you will walk in my statutes and obey my rules and keep all my commandments and walk in them, then I will establish my word with you, which I spoke to David your father. Now the word of the Lord came to Solomon. Concerning this house that you are building, if you will walk in my statutes and obey my rules and keep all my commandments and walk in them, then I will establish my word with you which I spoke to David your father. And I will dwell among the children of Israel, and will not forsake my people Israel. So Solomon built the house and finished it. And I will dwell among the children of Israel, and will not forsake my people Israel. So Solomon built the house and finished it. He lined the walls of the house on the inside with boards of cedar, 
From the floor of the house to the walls of the ceiling, he covered them on the inside with wood and covered the floor of the house with boards of cypress. He lined the walls of the house on the inside with boards of cedar. From the floor of the house to the walls of the ceiling, he covered them on the inside with wood and covered the floor of the house with boards of cypress. He built twenty cubits of the rear of the house with boards of cedar from the floor to the walls, and he built this within as an inner sanctuary as the most holy place. The house that is, the nave in front of the inner sanctuary, was forty cubits long. He built twenty cubits of the rear of the house with boards of cedar from the floor to the walls, and he built this within as an inner sanctuary as the most holy place. The house that is, the nave in front of the inner sanctuary, was forty cubits long. The cedar within the house was carved in the form of gourds and open flowers. All was cedar. No stone was seen. The inner sanctuary he prepared in the innermost part of the house to set there the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord. The cedar within the house was carved in the form of gourds and open flowers. All was cedar. No stone was seen. The inner sanctuary he prepared in the innermost part of the house to set there the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord. The inner sanctuary was twenty cubits long, twenty cubits wide, and twenty cubits high, and he overlaid it with pure gold. He also overlaid an altar of cedar, and Solomon overlaid the inside of the house with pure gold, and he drew chains of gold across in front of the inner sanctuary, and overlaid it with gold, and he overlaid the whole house with gold until the inner sanctuary was twenty cubits long, twenty cubits wide, and twenty cubits high, and he overlaid it with pure gold. He also overlaid an altar of cedar, and Solomon overlaid the inside of the house with pure gold, and he drew chains of gold across in front of the inner sanctuary, and overlaid it with gold, and he overlaid the whole house with gold until and he overlaid the whole house with gold until all the house was finished. Also the whole altar that belonged to the inner sanctuary he overlaid with gold. In the inner sanctuary he made two cherubim of olive wood, each ten cubits high. And he overlaid the whole house with gold until all the house was finished. Also the whole altar that belonged to the inner sanctuary he overlaid with gold. In the inner sanctuary he made two cherubim of olive wood, each ten cubits high. Five cubits was the length of one wing of the cherub and five cubits the length of the other wing of the cherub. It was ten cubits from the tip of one wing to the tip of the other. Five cubits was the length of one wing of the cherub, and five cubits the length of the other wing of the cherub. It was ten cubits from the tip of one wing to the tip of the other. The other cherub also measured ten cubits. Both cherubim had the same measure and the same form. The height of one cherub was ten cubits, and so was that of the other cherub. The other cherub also measured ten cubits. Both cherubim had the same measure and the same form. The height of one cherub was ten cubits, and so was that of the other cherub. He put the cherubim in the innermost part of the house, and the wings of the cherubim were spread out so that a wing of one touched the one wall, and a wing of the other cherub touched the other wall. Their other wings touched each other in the middle of the house, and he He put the cherubim in the innermost part of the house, and the wings of the cherubim were spread out so that a wing of one touched the one wall, and a wing of the other cherub touched the other wall. Their other wings touched each other in the middle of the house, and he He overlaid the cherubim with gold. Around all the walls of the house he carved engraved figures of cherubim and palm trees and open flowers in the inner and outer rooms. The floor of the house he overlaid with gold in the inner and outer rooms. He overlaid the cherubim with gold. Around all the walls of the house he carved engraved the figures of cherubim and palm trees and open flowers in the inner and outer rooms. The floor of the house he overlaid with gold in the inner and outer rooms. For the entrance to the inner sanctuary he made doors of olive wood, 
the lintel and the doorposts were five-sided. He covered the two doors of olive wood with carvings of cherubim, palm trees, and open flowers. He overlaid them with gold and spread gold on the cherubim and on the palm trees. For the entrance to the inner sanctuary, he made doors of olive wood. The lintel and the doorposts were five-sided. He covered the two doors of olive wood with carvings of cherubim, palm trees, and open flowers. He overlaid them with gold and spread gold on the cherubim and on the palm trees. So also he made for the entrance to the nave doorposts of olive wood in the form of a square and two doors of cypress wood. The two leaves of the one door were folding and the two leaves of the other door were folding. So also he made for the entrance to the nave doorposts of olive wood in the form of a square and two doors of cypress wood. The two leaves of the one door were folding and the two leaves of the other door were folding. On them he carved cherubim and palm trees and open flowers, and he overlaid them with gold evenly applied on the carved work. He built the inner court with three courses of cut stone and one course of cedar beams. On them he carved cherubim and palm trees and open flowers, and he overlaid them with gold evenly applied on the carved work. He built the inner court with three courses of cut stone and one course of cedar beams. In the fourth year, the foundation of the house of the Lord was laid in the month of Zid, and in the eleventh year, in the month of Bul, which is the eighth month, the house was finished in all its parts, and according to all its specifications, he was seven years in building it. In the fourth year, the foundation of the house of the Lord was laid in the month of Ziv, and in the eleventh year, in the month of Bul, which is the eighth month, the house was finished in all its parts, and according to all its specifications, he was seven years in building it. Word study, finished. Entire, breadth, rows of cedar pillars, each row, window frames, opposite, three tiers, square frames, porch, canopy, pronounced judgment, floor to rafters, dwell, like workmanship, had taken in marriage, costly stones, cut according to measure, sawed with saws, great court, tribe, bronze, full of wisdom, cast two pillars, circumference, hollow, thickness, Lattices of checker, made to capitals, likewise, palm granites, lattice work, lily work, rounded projection, rows all around, vestibule of the temple, brim to brim, compassing, were inward, construction of the stands, had panels, wreaths of beveled work, wells and axles, basin, projected upward, pedestal, underneath the panels, chariot wheel, huds were all cast, surfaces of its taste, space of each, same measure and the same form, he shovels, oxen underneath, vessels, burnished bronze, clay ground, ascertained, bread of the presence, inner sanctuary, tongues, snuffers, dishes for incense, sockets of gold, doors of the innermost, nave of the temple, had dedicated, stored treasuries. Word study, finished, entire, breadth, rows of cedar pillars, each row, window frames, opposite, three tiers, square frames, porch, canopy, pronounced judgment, floor to rafters, dwell, like workmanship, had taken in marriage, costly stones, cut according to measure, sawed with saws, great court, tribe, bronze, full of wisdom, cast two pillars, circumference, hollow, thickness, lattices of checker, made to capitals, likewise, palm granites, lattice work, lily work, rounded projection, rows all around, vestibule of the temple, brim to brim, compassing, were inward, construction of the stands, had panels, wreaths of beveled work, wells and axles, basin, projected upward, pedestal, underneath the panels, chariot wheel, huds were all cast, surfaces of its stays, space of each, same measure and the same form, he shovels, oxen underneath, 
vessels, burnished bronze, clay ground, ascertained, bread of the presence, inner sanctuary, tongues, snuffers, dishes for incense, sockets of gold, doors of the innermost, nave of the temple, had dedicated, stored treasuries. MB2B 선생님하고 오늘 단어 퀴즈 한번 해보겠습니다. 재단이 있는 곳, 지성소라고도 하고, sanctuary, sanctuary, 그런 거를 뭐라고 그래? 지지대, 영어로, 영어로, supporting, supporting, 먹을 것좀 줘야 되겠네. Good job! It took Solomon 13 years, however, to complete the construction of the palace. He built the palace of the forest of Lebanon 100 kilometers long. With the wide and the sturdy height, it will four rows of cedar, columns supporting the, the trimmed cedar beam. It was located with the cedar above the, the, the beams that rested on the columns 45 beams, 15 to two long. His window would place a high in a set of three. First Kings 7. Solomon was building his own house 13 years, and he finished his entire house. He built the house of the forest of Lebanon. Its length was 100 cubits, and its breadth 50 cubits, and its height 30 cubits, and it was built on four rows of cedar pillars with cedar beams on the pillars. First Kings 7. Solomon was building his own house 13 years, and he finished his entire house. He built the house of the forest of Lebanon. Its length was 100 cubits, and its breadth 50 cubits, and its height 30 cubits, and it was built on four rows of cedar pillars with cedar beams on the pillars, and it was covered with cedar above the chambers that were on the 45 pillars, 15 in each row. There were window frames in three rows and window opposite window in three tiers. And it was covered with cedar above the chambers that were on the 45 pillars, 15 in each row. There were window frames in three rows and window opposite window in three tiers. All the doorways and windows had square frames and window was opposite window in three tiers. And he made the hall of pillars. Its length was 50 cubits and its breadth 30 cubits. There was a porch in front with pillars and a canopy in front of them. All the doorways and windows had square frames, and window was opposite window in three tiers. And he made the hall of pillars. Its length was 50 cubits and its breadth 30 cubits. There was a porch in front with pillars and a canopy in front of them. And he made the hall of the throne where he was to pronounce judgment, even the hall of judgment. It was finished with cedar from floor to rafters. And he made the hall of the throne where he was to pronounce judgment, even the hall of judgment. It was finished with cedar from floor to rafters. His own house where he was to dwell, in the other court back of the hall, was of like workmanship. Solomon also made a house like this hall for Pharaoh's daughter, whom he had taken in marriage. His own house where he was to dwell, in the other court back of the hall, was of like workmanship. Solomon also made a house like this hall for Pharaoh's daughter, whom he had taken in marriage. All these were made of costly stones, cut according to measure, sword with saws back and front, even from the foundation to the coping, and from the outside to the great court. The foundation was of costly stones, huge stones, stones of eight and ten cubits. All these were made of costly stones, cut according to measure, sawed with saws back and front, even from the foundation to the coping, and from the outside to the great court. The foundation was of costly stones, huge stones, stones of eight and ten cubits. And above were costly stones cut according to measurements and cedar. The great court had three courses of cut stone all around, and a course of cedar beams. So had the inner court of the house of the Lord, and the vestibule of the house. And above were costly stones cut according to measurements and cedar. The great court had three courses of cut stone all around, 
and a course of cedar beams, so had the inner court of the house of the Lord, and the vestibule of the house. And King Solomon sent and brought Hiram from Tyre. He was the son of a widow of the tribe of Naphtali, and his father was a man of Tyre, a worker in bronze. And he was full of wisdom, understanding, and skill for making any work in bronze. He came to King Solomon and did all his work. And King Solomon sent and brought Hiram from Tyre. He was the son of a widow of the tribe of Naphtali, and his father was a man of Tyre, a worker in bronze. And he was full of wisdom, understanding, and skill for making any work in bronze. He came to King Solomon and did all his work. He cast two pillars of bronze, eighteen cubits was the height of one pillar, and a line of twelve cubits measured its circumference. It was hollow, and its thickness was four fingers. The second pillar was the same. He also made two capitals of cast bronze to set on the tops of the pillars. The height of the one capital was five cubits, and the height of the other capital was five cubits. He cast two pillars of bronze, eighteen cubits was the height of one pillar, and a line of twelve cubits measured its circumference. It was hollow, and its thickness was four fingers. The second pillar was the same. He also made two capitals of cast bronze to set on the tops of the pillars. The height of the one capital was five cubits, and the height of the other capital was five cubits. There were lattices of checker work with wreaths of chain work for the capitals on the tops of the pillars, a lattice for the one capital, and a lattice for the other capital. Likewise, he made pomegranates in two rows around the one lattice work to cover the capital that was on the top of the pillar, and he did the same with the other capital. There were lattices of checker work with wreaths of chain work for the capitals on the tops of the pillars, a lattice for the one capital, and a lattice for the other capital. Likewise, he made pomegranates in two rows around the one lattice work to cover the capital that was on the top of the pillar, and he did the same with the other capital. Now the capitals that were on the tops of the pillars in the vestibule were of lily work, four cubits. The capitals were on the two pillars and also above the rounded projection which was beside the lattice work. There were two hundred pomegranates in two rows all around, and so with the other capital. Now the capitals that were on the tops of the pillars in the vestibule were of lily work, four cubits. The capitals were on the two pillars and also above the rounded projection which was beside the lattice work. There were two hundred pomegranates in two rows all around, and so with the other capital. He set up the pillars at the vestibule of the temple. He set up the pillar on the south and called its name Jachin. And he set up the pillar on the north and called its name Boaz and on the tops of the pillars was lily work. Thus the work of the pillars was finished. He set up the pillars at the vestibule of the temple. He set up the pillar on the south and called its name Jachin. And he set up the pillar on the north and called its name Boaz. And on the tops of the pillars was lily work. Thus the work of the pillars was finished. Then he made the sea of cast metal. It was round, ten cubits from brim to brim, and five cubits high, and a line of thirty cubits measured its circumference. Under its brim were gourds, for ten cubits compassing the sea all around. The gourds were in two rows, cast with it when it was cast. Then he made the sea of cast metal. It was round, ten cubits from brim to brim, and five cubits high, and a line of thirty cubits measured its circumference. Under its brim were gourds, or ten cubits, compassing the sea all around. The gourds were in two rows, cast with it when it was cast. It stood on twelve oxen, three facing north, three facing west, three facing south, and three facing east. The sea was set on them, and all their rear parts were inward. Its thickness was a handbreadth, and its brim was made like the brim of a cup, like the flower of a lily. It held two thousand baths. It stood on twelve oxen, three facing north, three facing west, three facing south, and three facing east. 
the sea was set on them, and all their rear parts were inward. Its thickness was a handbreadth, and its brim was made like the brim of a cup, like the flower of a lily. It held two thousand baths. He also made the ten stands of bronze. Each stand was four cubits long, four cubits wide, and three cubits high. This was the construction of the stands. They had panels, and the panels were set in the frames. He also made the ten stands of bronze. Each stand was four cubits long, four cubits wide, and three cubits high. This was the construction of the stands. They had panels, and the panels were set in the frames. And on the panels that were set in the frames were lions, oxen, and cherubim. On the frames, both above and below the lions and oxen, there were wreaths of beveled work. Moreover, each stand had four bronze wheels and axles of bronze, and at the four corners were supports for a basin. The supports were cast with wreaths at the side of each. And on the panels that were set in the frames were lions, oxen, and cherubim. On the frames, both above and below the lions and oxen, there were wreaths of beveled work. Moreover, each stand had four bronze wheels and axles of bronze, and at the four corners were supports for a basin. The supports were cast with wreaths at the side of each. Its opening was within a crown that projected upward one cubit. Its opening was round as a pedestal is made, a cubit and a half deep. At its opening there were carvings, and its panels were square, not round. And the four wheels were underneath the panels. The axles of the wheels were of one piece with the stands, and the height of a wheel was a cubit and a half. The wheels were made like a chariot wheel. The its opening was within a crown that projected upward one cubit. Its opening was round as a pedestal is made, a cubit and a half deep. At its opening there were carvings, and its panels were square, not round. And the four wheels were underneath the panels. The axles of the wheels were of one piece with the stands, and the height of a wheel was a cubit and a half. The wheels were made like a chariot wheel. The, the wheels were made like a chariot wheel. Their axles, their rims, their spokes, and their hubs were all cast. There were four supports at the four corners of each stand. The supports were of one piece with the stands. The wheels were made like a chariot wheel. Their axles, their rims, their spokes, and their hubs were all cast. There were four supports at the four corners of each stand. The supports were of one piece with the stands. And on the top of the stand, there was a round band half a cubit high. And on the top of the stand, its stays and its panels were of one piece with it. And on the surfaces of its stays and on its panels, he carved cherubim, lions, and palm trees according to the space of each with wreaths all around. And on the top of the stand, there was a round band half a cubit high. And on the top of the stand, its stays and its panels were of one piece with it. And on the surfaces of its stays and on its panels, he carved cherubim, lions, and palm trees according to the space of each with wreaths all around. After this manner, he made the ten stands. All of them were cast alike, of the same measure and the same form. And he made ten basins of bronze. Each basin held forty baths. Each basin measured four cubits. And there was a basin for each of the ten stands. After this manner, he made the ten stands. All of them were cast alike, of the same measure and the same form. And he made ten basins of bronze. Each basin held forty baths. Each basin measured four cubits. And there was a basin for each of the ten stands. And he set the stands, five on the south side of the house and five on the north side of the house. And he set the sea at the southeast corner of the house. Hiram also made the pots, the shovels, and the basins. So Hiram finished all the work that he did for King Solomon on the house of the Lord. And he set the stands, five on the south side of the house and five on the north side of the house. And he set the sea at the southeast corner of the house. Hiram also made the pots, the shovels, and the basins. 
So Hiram finished all the work that he did for King Solomon on the house of the Lord. The two pillars, the two bowls of the capitals that were on the tops of the pillars, and the two lattice works to cover the two bowls of the capitals that were on the tops of the pillars, and the four hundred pomegranates for the two lattice works, two rows of pomegranates for each lattice work, to cover the two bowls of the capitals that were on the pillars, the ten stands and the ten basins on the stands, and the one sea and the twelve oxen underneath the sea. The two pillars, the two bowls of the capitals that were on the tops of the pillars, and the two lattice works to cover the two bowls of the capitals that were on the tops of the pillars, and the four hundred pomegranates for the two lattice works, two rows of pomegranates for each lattice work, to cover the two bowls of the capitals that were on the pillars, the ten stands and the ten basins on the stands, and the one sea and the twelve oxen underneath the sea. Now the pots, the shovels, and the basins, all these vessels in the house of the Lord, which Hiram made for King Solomon, were of burnished bronze. In the plain of the Jordan the king cast them, in the clay ground between Sukkoth and Zarethan. And Solomon left all the vessels unweighed, because there were so many of them. The weight of the bronze was not ascertained. Now the pots, the shovels, and the basins, all these vessels in the house of the Lord, which Hiram made for King Solomon, were of burnished bronze. In the plain of the Jordan the king cast them, in the clay ground between Sukkoth and Zarethan. And Solomon left all the vessels unweighed, because there were so many of them. The weight of the bronze was not ascertained. So Solomon made all the vessels that were in the house of the Lord, the golden altar, the golden table for the bread of the presence, the lampstands of pure gold, five on the south side and five on the north, before the inner sanctuary, the flowers, the lamps, and the tongs of gold, the cup. So Solomon made all the vessels that were in the house of the Lord, the golden altar, the golden table for the bread of the presence, the lampstands of pure gold, five on the south side and five on the north, before the inner sanctuary, the flowers, the lamps, and the tongs of gold, the cup, the cups, snuffers, basins, dishes for incense, and firepans of pure gold, and the sockets of gold, for the doors of the innermost part of the house, the most holy place, and for the doors of the nave of the temple. Thus all the work that King Solomon did on the house of the Lord was finished. And Solomon brought in the things that David his father had dedicated, the silver, the gold, and the vessels, and stored them in the treasuries of the house of the Lord. The cups, snuffers, basins, dishes for incense, and firepans of pure gold, and the sockets of gold, for the doors of the innermost part of the house, the most holy place, and for the doors of the nave of the temple. Thus all the work that King Solomon did on the house of the Lord was finished. And Solomon brought in the things that David his father had dedicated, the silver, the gold, and the vessels, and stored them in the treasuries of the house of the Lord.